Talibong is a large, heavy plane chopping tool handle and hammered carburized blade. The purpose of carburized blade is to increase the strength of the metal. It is considered a symbol of pride or even just employment, signifying that they work with it in the fields or jungles. What makes the Talibong special is the artistry that goes into crafting its shape or form. The sheet can be pointed, rounded, or upturned, or shaped like the tail of a fish. It is made from the native wood varieties then bounded together by leather, braided abaca fiber, or nito vine. Talibong was mainly used for bat but occasionally it was also used in hunting and cutting up meat. It was said that sword shape can cut through grass easily. That is why during that time, if this was used by a well-trained person, it is very formidable. It means that it can already cause fears to others. Jessel Pitalios is a shrine curator too of the Museum of Philippine Economic History. He acquired the artifact in the year 2018. An article entitled Ilonggo Notes Talibong of Panay, Beautiful and Little, was written by Fix Salas on January 4, 2023. He get the information from the book entitled A Warrior's Armament and Ornament, the Edwin R. Bautista Collection of Philippine Bladed Weapons. During the conversion of the old Commission and Audit building into a museum, they acquired the Talibong because the museum is located in Western Visayas. It was known that blacksmithing is one of the major industries in the Philippines. Talibong was mostly seen in the Visayan region during the later part of the Spanish era and early American region. It was the standard weapon of the local fighter against Spanish. Talibong was considered a secondary weapon of guerrillas during World War II and were carried by the armies from Aklan during Korean War in 1950s. According to Miss Pitalios, there are two kinds of Talibong, the Linamay and Ginunting. It is a symbol of an Ilonggo Katapangan and a revolt against the colonizers. Talibong is a genuine piece of collection and they studied it together with a historical researcher from the stores collection of Talibong and they called it primary source. From the information that I acquired, I discovered that Talibong has two types, the Ginunting and Linamay, and it is a weapon of the leaders in Visayan region. Talibong was commonly used in combat purposes during the late Spanish and early American region. It was known a weapon used by the leaders of Visayan region. A said artifact now is not limited to its past purpose but was already used in hunting and for agricultural purposes.